Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is the Third World Server uh, first episode tour. And this is uh, the new spawn. This is going to be the permanent spawn for now, I guess. I have no ch uh, no plans to change the spawn. It is a bit uh, modest. I mean, we are not going to have this. Uh, mostly it's not really a big kind of spawn thing because I didn't really want to spend too much time working on spawn right away. I have other uh, thing server server stuff that I had to get built and ready so I didn't really want to spend too much time on a spawn point. So I made it a bit modestly out of wood. And here are the server rules. I'm not going to read all of those again as I did in the uh, the video announcing that the server was online, but I will read the newest server, or the newest rule, which is do not let anyone borrow your account to log on to this server, which is pretty important because pretty much 80% of the time uh, people who are people who borrow other people's accounts to log on to a server, they, uh, they grief. Uh, not because they're professional griefers or anything, but because they figure, oh well, I'm just borrowing this account, I won't ever come back here, so I'm going to grief. And they do, 80% of the time. But, anyways. This building over here is the trade company. It's uh, kind of not, not fully active, because I don't have a plugin right now that allows players to sell items or well, to buy items from the server. And I have to wait for some of those plugins to get updated, but there aren't really any good ones that are active right now anyways. Anyways, how it would work is uh, players would be able to buy these items from the server by just typing in the command buy gold gut. Of course that doesn't work. And it would use uh, Essentials economy money to buy, which is what you can see right there. But uh, currently, players are able to sell to the server all this stuff here uh, using these commands. Well, this actually, these commands are to you know, this command to sell items to the server, and this command is to pay other players. Anyways. That will hopefully work sometime in the future. And then this next building here is the job center, uh, which basically is just where I post uh, stuff that uh, I want done around the server, but I don't really have the time to do. So I give players uh, money from the server to do those projects. Like right now, the only job available is finish road to town of Greenstone so that uh, people can find the town of Greenstone from the, uh, the Lycian waypoint which is known as L waypoint. Also it sort of serves uh, as a second purpose to sort of uh, get players money so that they actually use the essentials economy so otherwise players will probably just barter trading items for other items. I kinda want people to use Essentials economics. I kind of want my envision. My vision for this server was for it to be a uh, a trade, sort of like a trading role-playing server, where people you know build shops and uh, have pr have professions like uh, farmer and fisherman and stuff like that. Uh, right here is just a, a carrot and potato plot that I set up to get people started on being able to get carrots and potatoes because uh, this is already a pre-existing map before 1.4 and this is the Miner's Guild which was uh, constructed by Miner Lens because it was uh, a job that I had previously posted up because so I needed uh, someone to build this guild here and I didn't really have the time to build it myself I've been gathering resources 
And the purpose of the guild chart, uh, the guild, the miners guild, is this sort of uh, for me to put up these rules here that they're not necessarily bannable upon offense by breaking these rules, but continuing to break these rules will eventually be considered harassment. Anyways, those rules are place signs at entrance of mine to show ownership of said mine. That's not really something that you could get ever get banned for for not doing. It's just more like a common sense thing. Hey, you should put signs with your name to the entrances of your mines so that other people don't just go in your mine and mine it out and then claim to not know that it was owned. Which really anyone claiming to not realize that a mine is owned when there's a bunch of torches is kind of being a little not so intelligent. Uh, if a cave is already has torches, it is to be assumed that someone else has taken ownership of said mind and should be left alone. Uh, which is what I just mentioned about the torches. If, uh, if a cave already has torches, it's best to really just leave it alone. Again, this isn't really a rule that you will get banned for for breaking immediately, but it really pisses off other players when you mine their mines and it's really best to not do that. But continuing to mine other players' minds will be considered breaking uh, the harassment rule. That's the, the purpose of the Miner's Guild. It's sort of a, a way to just have some semi-relevant rules as far as specifically to a player's mind, and there might be some more new rules. Those are just the most important ones I can think of right now. And enough about spawn. In this tour, we're going to take a look at uh, Turn the Pages, uh, which is a player. His name is T TTP101, which stands for Turn the Page 101. And he has built a Telvani Tower, which is a tower based off of a structure in the game of The Elder Scrolls III, Morrowind. And this place is called Telpagia. I think it's called Telpagia, home of Turns the Page. And it's a little bit weird, but that's because if you've uh, played Morrowind, the Telvanni Towers are weird. Except for they don't have, they didn't have water, waterfalls to get up and down, water elevators to stay up. Uh, required the use of teleportation, or uh, not teleportation, levitation, but obviously that's not really possible in Minecraft without using uh, admin fly commands. But I'm not going to give people fly commands. So here's the first area. It's very kind of uneven and unsymmetrical, which is a very much uh, Telvanni thing. But uh, in the game Morrowind, the Telvanni Towers were sort of like roots growing up out of the ground with stuff built off of them. The Telvanni were uh, wizards. This appears to be the bedroom, and that's pretty much it. Thanks. Yeah, this is it for right here, but there is, there was a door off to the side, as I recall. No? Oh, yeah, here it is. To be able to get up here. Oh, which just leads back up to here. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, I'm not sure if turns the page is completely finished with this, but it appears so. Yeah, that right there is just my uh, tree farm. I'm not gonna look at that at least not right now. And that's gonna be it for this video pretty much, uh, except for me to say uh, a couple of things. Uh, 
how I'm going to balance because these kind of videos, these tour videos, are going to be a regular, uh, a regular thing. I'll regularly be making these kind of videos, just sort of taking a look at uh, the different stuff people have built on the server. And uh, I think I'll be doing either make two or three of these kind of videos a week and uploading them on uh, my weekends sort of uh, while I'm uh, making the Mirgloff builds videos so there's something to uh, sort of watch the wait until the next Mirgloff builds videos are out. Uh, these tour videos are really easy to uh, make the because really there there's no time lapse so it doesn't take long to make these probably takes 15 minutes so they they're kind of filler but they're still they're still uh, interesting because it will give you guys a chance to see different parts of the server that you may not even know people have built stuff but um, that's pretty much everything uh, just to say that. The uh, the next video, the videos of Mirgoth Build are going to be coming soon. I haven't I haven't filmed any yet, but I'm going to start on my next as soon as my weekend rolls around, which is Tuesday. I have Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday off, so I will be making some videos. Oh, also, um, right now I. <clears throat> I may be doing maybe uh, three or four episodes of Mirgloff builds a week. That's the goal. It may end up being more like two or three. Uh, depends, really. Uh, my goal is to make the videos a bit. Uh, the build, the builds that I'll be building are uh, are my intention to be larger than they've normally been because. Uh, the way that I'm going to be, the style that I'm going to be recording the videos at allows me to have this, the time lapse speed be uh, twice as fast or even faster since I won't be uh, recording from first person anymore. You won't see me doing this. You won't see it from my perspective. You'll see it from a third, third point of view, a third person point of view. So that will be that. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the server.